I am like a kid in a candy store right now. I am in a place that's been on my bucket list like for years. Uh, the tessellated pavement down in Tasmania at a place called Eagle Hawk Neck. Got up at quarter past five, sun rises at 6.30. Uh, and I'm just staying at a hotel across the road at the Lufra Hotel. It's literally a three minute walk down here, maybe a five minute walk. And, uh, and I'm getting amazing color. I mean, amazing color this morning. Everything is just falling into place nicely. You know, it's one of those mornings where everything is just going right. And, oh man, oh. How do I, what do I tell you? It's just absolutely perfect. Everything is absolutely perfect. So I'll run you through my settings of what I'm doing. I've got the Fuji X-T1 out here in Tassie with me for this trip. And I've got uh, my Lee filter kit right now on the front of the 10 to 24 millimeter lens. I'm shooting at F9. And the reason I'm doing that is F9 is giving me a 30 second exposure on uh, aperture priority. I could switch to manual, wouldn't matter. Uh, but that's what it's doing. It's giving me a nice exposure. Uh, the light's changing rapidly and because uh, the sun's now coming up and the 30 second exposure is going to now disappear. Uh, ISO 200, which is the base ISO for this camera. Oh, wow. Wow, I, I, <laughs> I can't wait to show you these photos. My God, are you serious? This is amazing. What do I do? I just got to keep shooting. I just got to keep shooting. Uh, I am going to put the big stopper on soon, I think, to get that longer exposure because what it does is it gets rid of all the uh, the waves and just flattens out the water beautifully. What's freaking amazing is I've got this whole place to myself. There's no one here, not one person. And it's an amazing sunrise and what a location. What a location, oh my God. This is just like a dream come true for me. I, uh, I've wanted to shoot this for so long and to get such a perfect morning I don't know what to say. I am just so lucky, so lucky to be able to be here this morning and get this light. So from a setup point of view, ISO 200. I get told I don't tell you this enough, so I'm going to tell you. Um, ISO 200, uh, right now I'm at F13, and I've just been slowly bringing the aperture up as the light's been increasing just to keep that longer shutter speed. Uh, I did start out at F10 or F9 this morning. I think even F6 was my first shot when the light was really low. And as the light increases, I've got to shut the hole where the light comes in the lens, which is the aperture, right? So uh, F13, it's now four seconds, right? So we haven't got that long exposure. So it's getting very close to the point where I'm gonna put my big stopper on. Um, I do have a 0.6 ND filter, a graduated filter, soft graduated. And what that does is just um, takes the harshness out of the sky and evens out the exposure throughout the frame. So you get a, nuts, a much nicer balance of uh, quality pixels in the image. White balance is on auto because I'm shooting raw. I can go back and fix that later. Uh, and from a focusing point of view, I always head over here. I've got on the Fuji, the manual to auto focus, which is here. I half depress the shutter. I've got it on my remote here. I let it focus itself about one third into the image, and then I put it back to manual so it can't move, and then I click the shutter and take the photo. Now, something to remember, um, if you put a filter on, it could be a, a CPL, could be a big stop or whatever, that you may knock the focus, so be very careful. Um, on that note, I'm gonna start putting some filters on now. I'm gonna try the CPL um, before the sun comes up to see if I can just tame down the reflections in the water and the tessellated pavement. Now having said that though, uh, those reflections are really making the image what it is, I think. So I don't mind having the reflections. I think it's a good thing. Um, but it'll also reduce a bit of light coming in. So if it doesn't do anything else but that, that's gonna do a good job for me. And um, I do have another trick up my sleeve that you can do if you wanna reduce light. In fact, let me show you that. I'll put that filter away for a second. I'm gonna show you a little trick. So I've got a 0.6 grad in there. Uh, let me grab the 0.9 out. Oh, that's the big stopper. Which one's that? All right. 
So what you can do is you can get a second filter and slide it in upside down. So of course, it's got to work overall. But what has happened now is I've lost my effect of the graduated filter, of course, because um, I'm now putting a graduated soft grad from each end. But what that does effectively, it's a bit like putting a, a stopper in front of your lens by doing that. Um, and that's a good trick. It's a trick I learnt with my 14 to 24 mil on the Nikon because you can't, it didn't have a big stopper. I do have a big stopper right now, but I didn't. And that was what I learnt was to grab two filters and do it like that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the nine out, put the six away. I'm going to put it into the front slot. And then I'm going to get the big stopper out because we're down to 1.3 seconds for an exposure. F13, which I don't like. I'd rather be around F9. If I go to F9, let's just do that. F9, it's giving me just under a second. So if I put the big stopper on, and that goes on first. Always put the big stopper on first behind your graduated filters because you want to block out all the light from the big stopper. If I put that on, now what will happen is my shutter speed will increase dramatically. What a marvellous morning. I am just so happy. I'm just so happy. I hope you love these images as much as I do. I am so happy. All right, so we're going to go to bulb setting. So I'm in bulb setting now, which puts the timer up on the back screen for me. Oh my God, I can't believe the luck I'm having. The sun is now lighting up the sky. I'm in the middle of a three minute exposure, long exposure with the big stopper on. And my God, the colors are just becoming amazing, amazing. You know how some mornings it all just comes together? Now, I'm in the fortunate position where I've been away for several days and I've been able to get up for sunrise every day. I've shot sunset every day. This is, uh, and I just, I don't want to go home tomorrow, but that's what's going to have to happen, unfortunately. I've got to go back to work. But uh, man, this is amazing. The color is just coming to life. I want this to hurry up because I want to take a shorter exposure to make sure I capture this color. But wow, oh wow, oh wow. That's all I can say. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. Um, amazing, amazing. Well, I'm still down here just snapping away. I've been joined now by another couple of other photographers and his family. And, uh, you know, luckily for him, there was, he got here just in time for this big burst of light, which is amazing. Still got the big stopper on, still got the graduated filter, and um, back down to letting the camera sort out the shutter speed. So I'm less than 30 seconds because the light now is getting more and more intense. And you know what? I'm just taking photos for the sake of taking photos now. I have definitely got, I reckon, a good dozen or so keepers. And uh, it's been an absolutely amazing morning down here at the tessellated pavement. Absolutely amazing. It's this natural wonder where the rock has been formed by salt and sediment over all these years. It creates these lines. And uh, absolutely beautiful and stunning morning. Uh, I think the next step is to pack up. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Any comments you've got, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, of course, I'm on Instagram and Facebook too. Just look for On Three Legs on either of those channels, whether it's Instagram, On Three Legs with the number three, or on Facebook, go facebook.com slash On Three Legs, and make sure you hook up with me there. I look forward to catching with you then. See you next time.